am. I'm standing in front of my refrigerator again, and I have all of your beautiful letters. Um, I just got a new one from Emilio today. Um, I got a new one from Abby the other day. Um, so I'm really, really excited, and when I get your letters, they go straight up here so that Nelly and Kevin and Zeus, we can all see your lovely artwork. Um, so every time I talk to you about letters, I'm going to share somebody's letter with you. Today I'm going to share Jasmine's letter. So here's Jasmine's letter, and it says, Miss Kegley, I hope you are doing well. I love how you are always teaching us in a fun way. You are the best teacher ever. Love, Jasmine. And she drew a little picture of an owl here. I love this too. Um, I think you're the best student ever. I think everyone in the class is amazing and awesome. And I'm so excited that all of you are my students. So I'm gonna put this back up here um, because it makes me so happy. And I also wanna to talk to you guys about how to address an envelope. So when you're writing to me, um, it's important to put my name and my address right here. And then in the top corner, you put your address. So the first line of your address is your name. Then you're gonna put the address, that's the number and the street that you live on. Then you're gonna put the city that you live in. Uh, we all live in San Rafael. And this is the zip code. So you're gonna write that there too. So there's a couple pieces of information that are really important when you're addressing an envelope. So your address goes here. My address or the person that you're writing to goes here. That tells the mailman where it's supposed to go. And then up in the top corner, that's where you're gonna put your stamp. So I want you to work really hard on addressing your own envelope, okay? That's my challenge to you. All right, thanks guys.